Hello there, my name's George. Um, I am the project manager of the HM DCC app and the HM7000 range of products. Um, I'm here to show today the application as we have it now, but please note that all of this is subject to change. We are always refining the application to make it as easy as use as possible. So, I've connected to my locomotive um, and I can control my locomotive. Just like on the HMDCC app, I've got brake buttons to slow the locomotive. I can stop the locomotive dead. I can stop my entire layout. That will stop all locomotives that are connected into the HMDCC application. I can flick through multiple locomotives that I have here. As you can see, there's images there. I can go into my loco settings. I can edit said image. I can edit the name of the locomotive. When I'm connected to the decoder, I can change from Bluetooth mode to DC mode to DCC mode really easily. I can change in my locomotive data field here, the acceleration rate and deceleration rate instantly. I can change my global volume here. I can export my function setup um, or import another function setup that I made earlier. I can use this tab up the top to have a look at my functions. Of course, um, we can flash through all of this, uh, these icons and these names, um, and then the way the actual the buttons work as well, whether they're switch, push button, or put a timing function. Um, that can all be flashed through, uh, through our portal that we have through this app. So we can update it on the fly, which is absolutely fantastic. It means that we've taken the legwork away from the user. They don't need to, apologies, they don't need to create all of these function lists at all, so. Um, we've got settings here as well, so there's multiple settings. These are subject to change at the moment, but this is to make it as easy as possible. So for example, we've got our slider behavior. We can either have a drag and drop mode or you can live swipe it, so you can move your finger up and down um, on the slide bar and the locomotive will action, or drag and drop, which means we can slide our finger up and then drop our finger off uh, and it would instantly work as well. Um, we can, I will go back to the loco settings just to show the CV editor that we've got here. Uh, apologies. One second, wrong locomotive. So we can go to the advanced CV editor here, which is all of our CVs. We can instantly read all of them. It takes around about six seconds to read every single CV, but the writing function is, uh, is instant. So of course, you know, this is more of an advanced CV editor. We can go onto the acceleration rate and we can change the acceleration rate if we so wish. Just tap off it. That's done, that is actioned. Uh, deceleration rate, all of our other CVs and they're all named accordingly as they would be in the instruction manual. Of course, that takes it away from the instruction manuals. You no longer need that at all. You can just have that in the application here already for you. So, if I go back to uh, the control screen over here, just to get a better look at it. Of course, multiple functions. So if I wanted to double head two locomotives, for example. Consisting? Yep, how would, how would I go about doing a consist? So, right now, we're still working on that side of the GUI, but in theory, the landscape mode that we, we, I mentioned earlier that we're working on, um, you'll be able to have both locomotives, uh, or both decoders as it were, you know, linked side by side, and you'll be able to you know, consist them or double head them as it were. So, it's, it's not a problem. You're able to link two at the same time. You can have a dummy car uh, at the back, um, and so motor control will only work on one of the decoders or locomotives, um, but you can use the functions from both decoders at the exact same time. So um, not quite there in this version yet, but it will be for launch. So I'd like to show today our new HM7000 range that we have coming out um, as our phase one of this, uh, this project or this development. So right here, we have our new TXS decoders. These are our HM7000 sound decoders. So we've got an eight pin variant here, which is absolutely perfect for pre-2022 Hornby UK 00 locomotives. We've got the next 18 here, which will be fitted into our post-2022 TT models. And we've got our flagship decoder with the most functions possible, our 21 pin TXS decoder. 
that will be fitted into uh, international 00 locomotives and also post 2022 UK 00 locomotives as well. So what do you get in the pack? Um, of course you get the decoder, you also get a sugar cube speaker. You can see this arrangement here is actually on an enclosure, but that will come apart from that enclosure. You'll be given a sprue with loads of different speaker boxes and you can pick the best one to fit into locomotives. This is absolutely perfect for locomotives that don't actually have a speaker pre-installed into the locomotive. So. You also get instruction manuals there as well with QR codes that will link directly to the app and also any tutorial videos and um, in other instruction manuals as well, fully fledged instruction manuals. So we've also got here our new HM7040 legacy dongle. This legacy dongle is to plug into the back of an elite or select controller and it will control via Bluetooth your entire fleet of non-Bluetooth decoders, providing that they are NMRA com compatible. And then we have our non-sound decoders here. We have an eight pin variant and a six pin variant as well. Of course, all Bluetooth. We also have here our new power bank. This will fit into all of our HM7000 decoders and provide up to nine seconds of stay alive. We also have here our new 15 volt power supply adapter, which is all you need as well as one of our 15 volt power supplies to power your track and then your locomotives will work with HM7000 decoders. You no longer need big bulky expensive controllers.